What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and Microsoft To Do, and we're going to look at a brand new action uh, that is available now in Power Automate for the Microsoft To Do connector, and we're going to look at Update A To Do. So, as I've previously mentioned in other videos, um, if you've watched any of my earlier videos on Microsoft To Do, there were only a few actions and a few and, and zero triggers for it. Now Microsoft have released an update which allows for a few more uh, triggers, or a few triggers, and uh, a bunch of new actions. This is a new one called Update A To Do, something you previously weren't able to do. So this is fantastic. I love these new actions and new triggers, so let's take a look at this one today. So I'm in Power Automate, I've got my flow here and I've got a trigger for when a to-do in a specific folder is updated. That's currently set to the list which is called this is a list. Then we can click on new step. In the search bar we can type to-do. Uh, we can click on the Microsoft to-do business connector here and we can scroll down until we see uh, update a to-do preview. So this is a preview action, um, which means that there may be bugs, it may not work all the time, uh, but it does allow the product team to get some feedback from us on how well it's working uh, via telemetry or via direct uh, feedback to, to Microsoft uh, about any bugs or any issues that you may see when you're doing, when you're working with this. So if we click on this one, update a to-do, it's going to ask for a few things that are required. So it does need a to-do list and it does need a to-do task. So the to-do list, uh, what we'll do is we'll choose uh, this is a list. And the task, again, we will choose um, we'll choose Power Automate Video Test. So then we get all these fields that we can update. So we can specify a due date. We can specify a reminder date. We can specify a start date. We can select an importance, low, medium, or high. We can uh, rename it, so the subject is actually the name of that task. Uh, we have a status of not started, in progress, completed, waiting on others, deferred. Uh, I'm not sure I've seen that in to-do, so I might go take a look at that. Uh, body content, so this is the details that are kind of in the, in the notes section. Uh, we can put text or HTML in there and if we look uh, a couple of ones a couple of rows down there is actually a body content type which allows us to select text or HTML. The one in the middle is sensitivity so we can say how sensitive it is so whether other people can see it and we also have a category um, here which uh, assigns it a category. Again uh, I've not really used categories in Microsoft to do I'm not really sure what this is here for um, but it's there in case we need to use it and then we also have a uh, a flag to say whether we are going to remind someone or not. So is reminder on? Yes or no. True if an alert is set for the reminder uh, to remind the user of the to do. So if it's yes, then it's going to remind the user of the to do if we have that reminder date and timing. So we can do some stuff. So let's take a look at each one of these. So the due date, reminder date, and start date. All of these are um, all these are in sort of a UT style, uh, UTC style format. So um, year, month, day. Um, you can put in um, the hours, minutes, and seconds if you want, uh, but it does say note that this time portion will be ignored. So it just means that you do know you don't need to format uh, and take and strip out those things. You can just put in things like UTC, um, and it'll all all work out. So um, I could put a start date in here. And uh, what we'll do is we'll put a formula in and we'll put uh, add days uh, and we will put UTC now, comma, three. And we'll basically just say whatever the date is now, we'll add three days onto it and we'll stick that in there. Now that will come out with like minutes, seconds, hours, minutes and seconds, but it's going to be ignored, so it's okay. Subject, let's change the name. Um, we'll call this uh, power... Um, Automate uh, testing testing muck test. Uh, this is big M. Little C. Oh, big M. Little C. Muck test. Um, we can give it a status. So we'll say it's um, in progress. Again, I'm not really sure I've seen that in there. Um, the body content will say um, this. This is new content made for this video and we'll say that the body content is text. And that's what we'll use, we'll, we'll do that. So we're gonna rename it to this, 
uh, and we're going to say it's in progress and we're going to say there's some text here for the content. We'll flick over to Power Automate and we'll take a look at this Power Automate video test task, which is this one. Um, and it's this one here. So we've got a reminder um, of when it's, and we can say it's overdue and stuff like that and all these things. So um, what we will do is we will flip back to Power Automate and we will test this out. So we'll trigger this from a previous test that we've run and just trigger it because there's nothing we really need right now. And it's updated. So let's uh, flick back to Power Automate and up to do from Power Automate. We'll refresh this um, and then we can see that it's changed. So we see that Power Automate testing test has changed. Uh, this is the new content made for this video. Again, I can't see stuff about the category. I can't see stuff about the, the status in here. So if you guys do know what those things relate to, let me know in the comments down below. I love to learn new things and I love Microsoft to do. So I would appreciate uh, any guidance if you do have any. Um, but yeah, we can see this is updated now. But we don't need to specify, um, so for this tree, you need to specify the list and you need to specify the, um, the task as well that we're updating. So um, so this is what we put in here. However, we can use custom items to then do that and then use this programmatically. So instead of having to hard code in a specific item, what you could do is have this, like when a, when a item's updated, we pull the folder, we pull the, the task ID, um, and then we, um, we, we do something from there. So this trigger here, when a, a to-do in a specific folder is updated, um, for this is a list, uh, what we'll do is pass those details in. So there is another task in there, which is called new task at the moment, which doesn't really have much in it. It says this is a new note. Okay, that's fine. So what we will do is we will pass the parameters from this one into here to do this programmatically. So we will um, go to the to-do list first. And what we'll do is we will uh, use some dynamic content and we'll find the parent folder identifier that is the name of the list that we are running this from so it now switches to custom value because I'm using the new editor if we go back to here it says yeah there's a problem because I added that in and then in here we'll put ID and this is the ID of the task that's been updated we'll change the name of this to be something like um, uh, why do uh, we need uh, sunshine. I don't know, I just feeling a bit random. Why do we need uh, sunshine, if you can spell sunshine? Um, and we can change like, you know, the body of this content um, to be something like uh, hello world, uh, something like that. Uh, and we can um, take this, this formula here, um, out of here, and we'll put this into the due date. Uh, and we'll remove that. And we'll do the formula and then we'll put it in the due date and then we do a lot. So this is going to put the due date. So I'm doing these to just try and show you that this will be slightly different. So what this is going to do is it's going to pass through uh, details of the um, item that we update. It's going to pass them into here and then it's going to update that item um, and then um, that's that's what the outcome will be. So let's test this. So click on test. This time I'll perform the trigger action. Save and test. And we'll go back to Microsoft to do, and uh, in the new task, we'll say uh, we'll say uh, we'll remind me tomorrow. All right, and that should save automatically, and we'll go back to Power Automate, and it runs successfully. Yay! I love seeing that green bar. Sometimes I actually like seeing the red bar because I know that um, sometimes things will fail, um, but I'm expecting them to fail, um, and I just want things to run and, and allow me to like progress things and make things better. Um, so this is having a little think about what it's doing, but if we go back to uh, Microsoft To Do and just refresh this page, I'm using the web browser version, not the desktop app version, uh, and here's the new test, new test that we had. And we've now changed the name to why do we need sunshine? Uh, and we can see the due date is three days from now. So originally we changed the due date to tomorrow. Um, now it's three days from now, which is UTC plus three. So May 12th, we are on some May 9th. Uh, and we've also got hello world in the, in the body of the notes here. 
uh, that's still thinking about it, but uh, we we can see uh, what we've done. Oh, we've actually it's actually updated two of them. That's really interesting. Uh, it must have uh, must have passed through some credentials from the old one. Um, but yeah, this this is what this allows you to do. This allows you to um, update things, uh, update um, your to do list items with different things. Um, you know, update them when you, maybe you need to push it into the future. Uh, maybe you could have a trigger that says, "Okay, I'm going to be on holiday this day." Um, push the next due date for this one to be you know a week in the future, um, or you know something else like that. Or we could update them with some more notes. Um, you know, anything else. So. As always, I'd like to know what you guys use these things for. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you'll be using this for, or if you're already using this, um, I would like to know. Um, if you've not already, please uh, please like and share this video with your friends. If you did find it useful, it really helps me um, grow this channel. Uh, click that subscribe button to get up to date um, videos coming straight to your YouTube. And I'll see you next time.